Hey, hey, welcome to Sativa Academy where I am your host, Maddie Kush. Today, we will talk about some aspects that define high-grade medical marijuana. The characteristics that define what is referred to as swag and that pesky little devil I like to call show bud. Hopefully, this will help you distinguish one from the other in the future. Let's talk about ways to identify high-grade medical marijuana. No matter where you live, if you have smoked pot in the past and if you are someone who considers themselves a connoisseur, then you have definitely come across various kinds of high-grade medical marijuana. If you are a beginner, there are a few characteristics to look out for to make sure that the trees you're buying are of the highest grade. Now here's the thing. If you purchase medical marijuana in a dispensary, legally, due to your doctor's recommendation, it is technically medical marijuana. However, in my personal experience, not all medical marijuana is of the highest grade. The service of the dispensary is to act as the middleman between the consumer, you, and the supplier, the grower. It is their job to procure the best marijuana to serve its patient's needs. High-grade medical marijuana, if grown from superior genetics, provided with the proper conditions, and cured correctly, will be extremely potent. Look, feel, and taste incredible. Depending on the strain, these characteristics can and will change. Some of the differences will be harder to detect, like taste, while others will be more easily identified, such as odor. Marijuana, when smoked, has a taste. The higher the grade, the more intense the taste. Most likely, if it's organically grown in soil, upon consumption, you will be able to notice the taste, and they occur differently at three different stages. These flavors burst at different stages of inhalation. The initial inhale, or hit, has a certain flavor as does when you're holding in the vapor or smoke, and finally, when you exhale. Another distinguishing factor is if it was grown, dried, and cured properly, it will linger longer after exhaling. It's like a little bonus for you. Odor is another big factor. Some strains are more potent than others, but each medical strain will have a unique, distinguishable smell that are often described by an object that resembles that smell, such as a skunk, or citrus, pine, or a type of fruit. Simply opening a fresh jar or package should release its odor, but if you can't get a good whiff after opening it, you can gently squeeze it under your nose and it should erupt in odor. Another identifying characteristic of quality is the extent of the plant's dryness. Now when it comes to identifying how the plant has been stored, the varying degree of dryness is a telltale sign. It should be dry to the touch, and all plant stems should snap easily. If you squeeze it and it turns into a powder, way too dry. If you gently squeeze it and the form changes, way too wet. Oftentimes, if marijuana is too wet, it will have elements of mold because not all the moisture is gone. Obviously, this can make you very sick and makes it quite difficult to inhale. Now, true medical marijuana should come listed with a CBD slash THC percentage label, though most dispensaries do not provide this labeling. If they do, THC usually ranges from 3 to 25%, whereas CBD ranges from 2 to 7%. The higher the CBD, the more medical benefit you will receive, versus higher percentages of THC, which increase the euphoric high. The last thing to identify is the name of the strain of marijuana that you're buying. Strains of marijuana have become branded like everything else in our capitalist economy. Northern Lights, Jack Herrer, the OG strains, AK-47, Purple Haze, Blueberry, Hindu Kush are just a few of the many hundreds if not thousands of strains that exist in the medical marijuana world today. If you become an expert, cultivate your own strain after many generations of breeding, perhaps you can have your own brand of medical marijuana, huh? Now, identifying swag is pretty simple. Most likely, if your marijuana is some color other than green or purple, like a brown, it is most commonly referred to as swag. Swag will be very compressed and riddled with seeds, whereas high-grade medical marijuana will likely never have seeds within. There may be a scent, but most likely it will smell like hay or dirt. 
This odor is mostly due to a technique that is used when harvesting the plant. Schwag is usually grown in another country, resulting in it being smuggled into the US and sold illegally for a much reduced price. It is typically compressed, also known as bricking, and is not usually allotted enough time to dry and cure properly. Now just like a fine wine, marijuana needs to sit for some time in an airtight jar for the flavors and the taste to fully mature. Bottom line here, Schwag sucks. Stay away. And lastly, Showbud. Okay, Showbud is the bane of all medical marijuana users and really for all pot smokers alike. It looks good, it usually smells very good, but if you can't sample the goods, then you won't know if it is good. Many dispensaries do not carry THC CBD percentage labels on their product because it increases cost and turnaround time. Face it, these places are businesses and many operate in a way to push as much product as possible, sadly. Show buds look, smell, and appear to be everything you hope it will be. But then you take it home and you're disappointed by the effect. These buds, they're all show. Boo that bud because this bud, not for you. So hopefully now you will be able to distinguish between high grade medical marijuana, that nasty smuggled in swag, and show bud. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Sativa Academy. Be well and stay lifted. <laughs>